Okay, hey people, I'm in the studio. I am in the middle of my painting. It's Mary and I'm in the middle of painting my koala and baby. So, come with me and together we can see what I've been up to. So I just started the dot work. As you can see in the corner where the sun is. So here we go. Painted the background, burgundy colour, and the sun is yellow with copper and blue and yellow outline. So at the moment, I'm just doing the blue dot work. I'll bring you a bit closer so you can see. There, creating the magic of the koala and the baby. I've used these colors to highlight the koala and to get the feel of the Australian landscape in the sun as it eats its main food source, which is the eucalyptus leaves. So I can't wait to show you when it's finished. It's going to look amazing. And the prints will be available on the online store. Dreamscreation.com And if you want to know the best brushes to use for dot work, Gallia, Windsor and Newton around. I'm using a number three brush. Simply because I don't get the frayed edges like I do on a lot of the other brushes that I use or that I used to use. And it gives me the feeling like I'm using a rubber tip. So that's how defined it is. Now I've almost finished this section of the blue. Uh, the paints that I use. I'm a cheese flow and Artillery Interactive Ice Acrylics. What I really like about the, uh, I really love the text, the flow of the Matisse, and what I really like about the uh, Artillery Interactive Acrylics is the color range. I really love the colour range in those acrylics.
And we're just listening to a little bit of head candy to prepare for Miami. <laughs> it's called head candy in Miami. In case anyone's wondering. <laughs> So I'll just finish this section and then I'll show you what it looks like so far. I do have a lot of dot work and a long way to go yet. But uh, this, give you, this will just give you an idea of the way that I work in my studio. And I hope to have a lot more working videos for you to really get a grasp of the process of my art. And a wonderful experience for you, to, for you guys to enjoy just as much as I do last week. Okay, that's the last stop. I'll just wash my paintbrush out. So yeah, this is the uh, one way around the brush I'm using, Galia number round number three. You can see what it's starting to look like. It's coming together very nicely. Um, so that's the 60 by 90 back. Just give me a second because I'm going to put the shades down so you have a better Okay, you can see now. So yeah. And a close up. is this going to look when it's finished? I can't wait to show you guys when it's finished. I will keep working on the dot work. If you want to keep watching, you're most welcome. So here we go again. I'm sure you want to have a look at my studio table. There's my palette and all my paints. My colours I got out that I'm considering using in the painting of the koala and baby. Okay. I'll paint for a few more minutes so you guys can see. Just love 
this music. Yeah. I'm gonna do some. Um, I'm gonna do some copper now. So let's uh, shake things up a bit and use some copper. Move this down so you can see where I'm headed. Bring it a little bit closer. So the two colours I've been using has come from the Interactive Artist Acrylic Atelier range. Pacific Blue was the colour I was using before and now I'm using Copper from the series 4. And this colour is quite good if you don't want to use an orange that's not too bright and that gives you enough shame and balance with the other colours that you're using especially with the blue because um, the uh, Very close to opposite on the colour. So, um, I think it's important to understand the colours in this sense so you know. If you group a whole lot of colours together, that they're going to go together perfectly and in harmony with each other. Uh, for the Animal Dreaming, Dreaming series, which is what I'm painting at the moment, um, Coil and Baby is part of the series, which will eventually go into a spiritual card deck for people. Um, so you can own every single uh, animal for um, really cheap because um, most of these paintings retail for two and a half to three and a half thousand um, so when you think about the cost of a card deck it would uh, it ends up being very affordable. Um, of course, each of the animals have a message for us um, that we can incorporate into our daily lives. And the uh, koala and baby is about nurturing, and the uh, mother and daughter or mother and son relationship. And uh, 
the contemplation of this and how it relates to you. Um, everybody's different, although we all are connected. Um, nurturing plays a very fundamental role in our lives and uh, provides the uh, foundation for many things. Um, so when we think about that, how does that relate to you? How, in what way do you feel that it's lacking or that you feel that can be strengthened or feel that you want to develop within yourself maybe even through having children or whatever it may be whatever may be the case so the koala is a very important teacher for us and especially uh, for Aboriginal people um, but I believe that these lessons relate to everyone regardless of gender or culture or religion because in the universal sense we are all connected so um, yeah wow the, this has been going now for nearly 20 minutes you're most welcome to continue to watch as I uh, continue the dot work on this koala and baby so yes so there's a lot of work that goes into each painting um, some taking even months to complete so I haven't decided yet uh, what uh, artwork will be in the scope show in Miami for next month I don't think this one will be ready in time, unfortunately, but I am considering the ancestral butterfly that I just recently completed, which I think would look fantastic. The owl was in the last show. <laughs> Uh, which was projected 40 stories high in October in New York. Uh, so, yeah, there's some videos there that you can watch of that. If you want to watch some more of me and her art. So, yeah, we hope you're enjoying what you're seeing today I began painting when I was very young a teenager and I'm still young um, and to leave a destructive life behind painting became my saving grace. I started out as a fine pencil artist and used to uh, do really detailed work until um, I continued over the years and developed my style through painting because I felt that painting gave me more feeling to express within my paintings, more expression through paint. So, I, uh, so yeah, art 
is very important to me and my in myself. It brings me balance, it brings me peace, it brings healing and it brings many things to many people. So it's pretty exciting to be painting with this colour because it uh, really brings in some sunshine. You know, I really enjoy working with metallic paints due to the um, light reflections that it brings. But it's not always easy to capture on uh, camera, unfortunately. So, even though there's a lot of light in here, um, it's not coming up that uh, that good of light in the, this video. So I will complete this part of the uh, dot work and then I will stop the video. But uh, yeah, it's early stages within this uh, koala and baby painting. And uh, so it's very cool <laughs> to be able to capture the process early on in the painting, to watch it transform. So, nearly at the end of this part of the dot work. So, um, if you'd like to join me on Facebook, you're more than welcome. Um, I post all my updates on there, including shots of all the paintings in progress. Um, Artworks by Miri on Facebook. Um, M I R R E E. -E. Miri is my Aboriginal name. It was given to me by my auntie June Barker. And I love her very much and in no means uh, disrespecting her but I am celebrating her and Um, Mary means dingo totem in the Kumai language, which is originally where my family come from, the border of Queensland and New South Wales. So everywhere I go, I carry the essence of the dingo on my journey, keeping me safe and uh, showing me why through my instincts so that's that part of the copper done um brush my gallery of paintbrush um so yeah, continue to follow me on Facebook, visit my website um, if you want to buy one of these fantastic prints. 
and I'm sure you want to see what it looks like so far again. The sun is starting. The sun is starting to shine bright. Can you see? See, uh, it's uh, bringing much depth into the painting now with the orange copper. Uh, we've got the uh, symbol of the eucalyptus leaves. Uh, and down the bottom is another symbol that represents the connection to earth and uh, the connection that we have with nature and um, and what these beautiful creatures provide for us uh, at this very important time. Okay, I um, will continue to do my dot work and sign off for now. Bye, thanks for watching Artworks by Murray. See you people, see you soon.